Buenos días, estudiantes. Me llamo Señora El, y hoy vamos a aprender el vocabulario del Sistema Solar. Hi, my name is Señora El, and today we are going to learn about the vocabulary of our solar system. Many of the names of our planets will be very similar in English and in Spanish. This is because of our history dating all the way back to ancient Rome. When the ancient Romans stared up into the heavens each night, they recognized that the planets mingled among the stars up above were just as important as their own religion and even time itself. The sun, el sol. Think of all the words in English and Spanish that begin with sol and relate to our sun. For example, solar and solstice. Mercury. Mercurio, Mercurio, named after the Roman god Mercury, fastest of the gods. The day Miércoles is also named after Mercurio, because we really hope Wednesdays will fly by. Venus, 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 named after the Roman goddess Venus, goddess of beauty and love. Glowing golden in the heavens, the ancient Romans also named Viernes after her because Friday is definitely a beautiful day of the week. Earth, Tierra. Think of all of the words in English and Spanish that begin or contain ter, terrain, terrestrial, extraterrestrial. Tierra, or terra, is Earth, our home. Mars, Marte. The ancient Romans honored Marte, god of war, a great deal. Not only was Marte honored with a planet, but also a day of the week, Martes, our Tuesday, and Marzo, the month of March. Asteroid belt. Cinturón de asteroides. Cinturón de asteroides. Now we will be venturing back here in just a few minutes. Jupiter. 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 Our largest planet in our solar system is named after the king of the gods himself. He was also given a day of the week, Jueves, or Thursday. Saturn, Saturno, Saturno. Named after the Roman god Saturno, father of Jupiter. In ancient Greece, he was named Kronos, Titan of time itself. What better day to honor time than Saturday? Uranus, Urano, Urano. Uranus was the god of the heavens themselves, father of Saturn, grandfather of Jupiter, Urano. Neptune, Neptuno. Neptuno. Neptune was the ancient Roman god of the seas. Just look at those incredible azules or blues. Now, in 2006, the International Astronomical Union decided that a true planet must do three things. One, it must orbit a star, like our sun. Two, it must be large enough to create the gravity needed to force it into a spherical shape. Three, it must be big enough that it clears away any other objects in its path around its star. Now these rules make sense, but just because something may not meet all of these criteria does not make it any less worthy of wonder, recognition, or study. Through science, as we learn more and more about the wonders around us, shouldn't our scope of knowledge and study not shrink 
but grow. The following dwarf planets, as they have been named, are incredible in their own unique ways. Pluto, Pluton, Pluton, named after the brother of Jupiter and Neptune, king of the cold and distant underworld. Pluton. Ceres, or Ceres. Now she resides back in the asteroid belt. Mingled among the asteroids, Ceres is named after the Roman goddess of agriculture, harvest, and motherhood. Ceres. Make Make, the Rapu Nui god of fertility and humanity. Make Make. And look, it's shaped like an egg. And if you've watched our videos on food, an egg is a huevo. Hamea. Hamea. In Hawaiian myth, Hamea is the goddess of fertility, childbirth. She is the creator of life itself. Hamea. Eris. In the ancient Greek myth, Eris was the goddess of strife and discord. As you can see here, Eris has experienced quite a lot of discord way out there in the Kaipur belt. It's gotten kind of bumped around a bit. Sedna. Sedna. In the Inuit myth, Sedna was the goddess of the seas. Now she floats among an ocean far, far away from us. Out beyond the Kaipur belt, or the Kaipur belt. El Cinturón de Kaipur. The Kaipur belt, much like our asteroid belt, but far bigger far greater. So much more to explore and discover out there. The Milky Way Galaxy. La Via Lactea. Via Lactea. Our galaxy. How incredible. Now, of course, there's much more to learn and many more terms, but we'll stop for here for right now. I hope you check out our other videos on geografía, animales y mucho más. Until next time, estudiantes. Hasta luego.